Today, I stand before you to discuss a subject that is close to everyone's heart and that is, overcoming adversity. As we journey through life, we are all confronted with challenges, setbacks, and roadblocks. In these moments, our true character is tested and our resilience is measured. It is in the face of adversity that we discover who we really are and what we are truly capable of. I'd like to begin by sharing a story with you a story that has captured the hearts of millions and become a symbol of the indomitable human spirit. This is the story of Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani activist and survivor. In 2012, at the age of 15, Malala was shot by the Taliban for advocating the education of girls in her region. Instead of silencing her, the attack only strengthened her resolve. With unwavering courage, Malala continued her fight for education and women's rights, becoming the youngest ever Nobel Peace Prize laureate at the age of 17. Her resilience in the face of adversity is an inspiration to us all. Let us also reflect on the life of the late, great Nelson Mandela. Imprisoned for 27 years, Mandela remained steadfast in his beliefs, his dignity unbroken despite years of hardship. Upon his release, Mandela went on to lead his country out of apartheid and into a new era of unity, forgiveness, and reconciliation. His ability to overcome adversity serves as a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit. Furthermore, consider the life of Helen Keller, who was left blind and deaf by illness when she was only 19 months old. Despite these seemingly insurmountable obstacles, Helen learned to read, write, and communicate, eventually graduating from Radcliffe College and becoming a renowned author, activist, and lecturer. Her story is a shining example of how one can triumph over adversity. These stories remind us that our response to adversity defines our character. Our resilience, our determination, and our ability to persevere are what set us apart. We must learn to adapt, to embrace change, and to grow stronger in the face of hardship. The question is, how do we develop this mindset? First, we must recognize that adversity is an inescapable part of life. There will always be setbacks, obstacles, and disappointments. We must accept this reality and choose to confront it head-on. As the ancient Greek philosopher Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Second, we must develop a growth mindset. This involves embracing challenges and recognizing that failure is not a permanent condition. Rather, it is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to become better. As the great inventor Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Next, we must practice gratitude. In the face of adversity, it's easy to focus on our problems and forget about the many blessings in our lives. By cultivating gratitude, we shift our focus from what we don't have to what we do have, allowing us to maintain a more positive outlook in difficult times. Additionally, we must surround ourselves with a strong support network. Friends, family, and mentors can provide us with encouragement, guidance, and perspective when we face adversity. Sometimes, just knowing that someone believes in us can give us the strength to keep going. Lastly, we must believe in ourselves. This is perhaps the most important element of overcoming adversity. When we believe in our own abilities and maintain a strong sense of self-worth, we are more likely to persevere in the face of challenges. As we strive to overcome adversity, let us draw inspiration from those who have come before us. The story of J.K. Rowling, author of the beloved Harry Potter series, is a prime example. Before her success, Rowling faced numerous setbacks, unemployment, poverty, and a failed marriage among them. But she never gave up on her dream. Today, her resilience has made her one of the most successful authors in the world. Another inspiring figure is the legendary athlete Wilma Rudolph, who overcame polio and other childhood illnesses that left her with a weakened and twisted leg. 
Despite the odds, she became a world-class sprinter and went on to win three Olympic gold medals, earning the title of the fastest woman in the world. Her unyielding determination serves as a powerful example of overcoming adversity. In conclusion, let us remember that overcoming adversity is a journey, not a destination. Our lives will be filled with challenges, but it is our resilience, determination, and the lessons we learn along the way that will define who we are and what we can achieve. Let us embrace the spirit of Malala Yousafzai, Nelson Mandela, Helen Keller, J.K. Rowling, and Wilma Rudolph. Let us draw strength from their stories and recognize that we, too, have the power to overcome adversity. As we face life's obstacles, let us remember the words of the American author and poet Maya Angelou, who said, You may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats, so you can know who you are, what you can rise from, and how you can still come out of it. Thank you for allowing me to share these thoughts with you today. May we all find the courage to face our challenges head on, to grow from our experiences, and to emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. Together, let us make a commitment to ourselves and to one another, we will rise above adversity, and we will not be defeated. Instead, we will emerge victorious, our spirits unbroken and our dreams within reach. Thank you, and may you all find the strength to overcome the adversity that life throws your way.